Berühmte Billy Bones besitzt den Lageplan eines Schatzes, den der Pirat Flint vor seinem Tod auf einem fernen Planeten vergraben hat. Er versteckt sich auf einer verlassenen Raumstation an der sizilianischen Küste. Aber er wird von den Piraten gefunden. Zuerst von Cane Nero und dann von Pew. Von Cane Nero verletzt und vom Drogenmissbrauch ruiniert, stirbt er. Der Lageplan des Schatzes, ein weißes Blatt Papier, gerät in die Hände von Jimmy, der mit seiner Mutter in der Raumstation lebt. Er gibt es seinem Freund Dr. Livesey und dem Grafen Ravano. Nachdem das Geheimnis des Lageplans enträtselt ist, wird eine Expedition nach dem Schatzplaneten beschlossen, die von Ravano finanziert wird. Ravano schickt Jimmy, der als Schiffsjunge in die Mannschaft aufgenommen wird, zu dem alten John Silver, der die Mannschaft des Raumschiffes zusammengestellt hat. Sie fahren zur Hispaniola, dem Raumschiff, mit dem sie zu dem großen Abenteuer aufbrechen werden. Auf Befehl von Kapitän Smollett wird die Mannschaft nach Waffen durchsucht, die dann von Bord gebracht werden. Der kleine Jimmy wartet sehnsüchtig auf den Abflug. As you have nothing to do, hmm? you can help peel some potatoes for the squire. He doesn't eat synthetic food. Besides, idleness is the refuge of weakness. Peel the potatoes. I have another errand to run now. But I'll be right back to cook them. Thank you. <laughs> Good evening, Mr. Silver. <laughs> I don't understand why a man like the squire wants to eat potatoes. I mean... Because the squire is rich, but he likes to pretend he's, uh, he's poor. <laughs> Peel the potatoes. I really had trouble taking orders from Joyce, a humanoid. He was polite and all, but he was still ordering me. <laughs> I'm sure Silver knew what I was thinking. He had a way of looking right through you. I was never totally at ease in his company. And yet I was to seek his company more than anyone else's. This contradiction, which embarrassed me, seemed to tickle him no end. <laughs> station, boy.
one to his assigned station. Announce it. Yes, sir. I won't tolerate loafers aboard my ship. No, sir. going around the moon. You mean I missed the departure? You had a nice long nap. Is that the earth? Yeah. It's quite a sight, isn't it? You know, when I first saw that, an old sailor said to me, close your eyes three times and make a wish. I hope we find the hammer stone. The what? The Hammerstone. What? Huh? What's that? Oh, that's an interplanetary cruiser <laughs> for wealthy tourists. Wow. You'll see quite a few of them now. You'll see a lot of traffic between here and the moon. Is that the Mars too? It sure is. Gee, this Panola could fit in one of his swimming pools. <laughs> yeah. Getting ready to land. I used to hear a call from our radio beacon. Boy, it's big. And look at those lights. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like a chandelier, huh? You know what they're doing up there? They're dancing. Boom, 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 boom. Where are you going? Boom, boom, boom. Tangos and waltzes. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's what the rich call having fun. Only they say escape. The only real thing about them is their jewelry. Well, just how big is it anyway? Uh, we'd fit in this story, Drew. Is it as big as the Bender? Bender? Master Jimmy, mm. the potatoes, the frying pan, please. It's all ready. The corn oil. Ready. The celery salt. What's the data? Uh, oh, I'm just a cook, Jimmy, but they look like Earth moon coordinates to me. Right, we're in the gravity pole of the moon. So that's the moon. No ships park here in a fixed orbit, Jimmy. Steadily, steadily slower as if, as if to take their bearings. Before taking the great leap. Way out in space. Master Jimmy, I am waiting. Your attention, please. We are so what do I have to do? One potato at a time. One at a time. Brace yourselves on this... <laughs> Emergency! Gravity compensation out of control! Chief Engineer Aerosmith, report in, please. The Squire's potatoes! 
Chief Engineer Aerosmith, report in, please. <laughs> he's... he's probably drunk. Silver was right. Mr. Aerosmith was botted, dropped to his ears. And yet his instinct, his knack, his love of technology carried him through thick and thin. Needless to say, Captain Smollett couldn't put up with Arrow's lack of discipline. Hang on, Captain. Though he did appreciate the man's talent. I'll be through in no time. You are drinking on duty. Huh? <laughs> That damn thing off. Oh, Mr. Aerosmith. Yeah, yeah, let me get these two connections here. Earth Central has picked up the glitch. How much time you need? A minute, say, more or less. Earth Central to Hispaniola. Shut up. We may have to invalidate your flight into hyperspace due to a loss of gravity on board. What do we tell him, Mr. Aerosmith? Yeah. Awaiting response, Hispaniola. We may have to invalidate. Keep your pants on. Mr. Aerosmith. No threat, Captain! Central to Hispaniola, you have 30 seconds to re-establish your gravity level before we deploy you on an invalidation orbit. You're an evasive answer, Captain. Tell her no trouble. No trouble. Your ellipse reading, Captain. The orbit is correct. You have five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done! Are you all right, Master Jimmy? Yeah, and you? My circuitry is intact, thank you. <laughs> that arrow must be drunk. Mr. Aerosmith, you've been put on detention. On vacation. <laughs> no. No, that is a real calamity. Just sit there! Uh, probably some temporary breakdown of the automatic gravity system. I suggest you go back and uh, belt yourself down. Attention, please. Belt yourselves down for the free fall passage. Huh. Free fall right on our heads! <laughs> Is it alles wieder in Ordnung? Yeah, it's not as clear. Four, five, Ich wäre sehr erfreut, wenn Sie mir sagen würden, was hier vor sich geht, Captain. Ich sage Ihnen eins, Herr Smith. Hören Sie mir zu! Wir sind vor einer Stunde gestartet und Sie sind schon betrunken. Wenn wir nicht so unter Zeitdruck gestanden hätten, hätte ich Sie wahrscheinlich zu Hause gelassen. Mir reicht es nicht, dass Sie was von Ihrem Job verstehen. Wenn ich Sie noch ein einziges Mal betrunken erwische, sorge ich dafür, dass Sie Ihr Patent verlieren. Und jetzt zu Ihnen, Hans. Ja, Captain? Sie haben eine Stunde Zeit, um alle Alkoholiker und Drogen an Bord zu beschlagnahmen. Wenn ich sehe, dass einer von der Mannschaft getrunken hat, mache ich Sie persönlich dafür verantwortlich. Nun, Graf Havano, wollten Sie was sagen? Nichts. Sailing for 40 years, I still get goose pimples every time we leave Earth. I'll tell you something, this is the safest part of the trip. The free fall days? That's right. The motors are now turned off. Listen to that. Listen to that science. Just listen. Falling, falling. The edge of the system. It's beyond Pluto. Well, how much does it take? How long does the fall last? Well, we don't keep time the same way here. Earth time, maybe, uh, uh, then. 
days. And then? And then <laughs> comes the great leap. Is that the outer sphere? Well, we call it the pit. Why? What's it like? Is it dark, like nothingness? Ah, it's, it's, it's like the mind. You can be anywhere in the universe in one second. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah. Just like that. Uh, is it dangerous? It used to be. Spaceships used to get lost all the time. Now there's a little machine. No bigger than a mat. Takes care of everything. Next time you see Aero and he's not drunk, you ask him. He can tell you better than I can. Arrow? A conductor I knew was waiting for a man called Arrow. Who? Billy Bones. A space conductor who stayed at our place. At, at, at your place? The radio beacon. The radio beacon? And then, Jimmy, and then, Jimmy. I learned from a man whom I met much later on. I can't tell you now who he is, or I'd be getting ahead of my story. I found out, as I was saying, that the dreaded black mark the pirates used to serve notice on a presumed traitor was also a symbol of agreement, a way of putting something to the vote. It would seem contradictory that betrayal and unity should be represented by the same token. On the other hand, a pirate's oath is usually another man's undoing. auf die Brücke, ich hab Dienst. Ja, gut, ha. Morning. Yeah, good for a shot of drug. Already? <laughs>
Na los, an die Arbeit, Jimmy. Diese Bestien wachen verhungert auf. Angst. Die kommen doch rüber, mach schon. Ah, guten Morgen, Arrow. Eine scheußliche Nacht geht mir schlecht. Brauch einen kleinen Schluck. Warum trinkst du nicht dein eigenes Zeug? Was meinst du? Na schön, aber nur den einen heute, klar? Ist aber ein bisschen wenig, hä? Ich möchte nicht, dass unser Raumschiff von einem Betrunkenen gesteuert Seit wird. Seit wann machst du dir denn darüber Sorgen? Ich habe euch doch bis jetzt immer gesund und munter nach Hause zurückgebracht. Bitte Kaffee für den Doktor nicht. und heiße Schokolade für den Herrn Grafen. Der Kaffee muss sorgfältig mit diesem Apparat gemahlen werden. Und die Schokolade bitte jetzt dreimal aber aufkommen. Ab, und du hör zu, Phantom. Warum machst du das nicht allein? Wir haben hier viel zu tun, das siehst du doch. Mein lieber Herr Silver. Bisher hat mich noch niemand Phantom genannt. Ist ja gut, ich mach das schon. Nein, 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 ich brauche ich. Du musst mir hier helfen. Wenn Sie meinen, bitte, dann mache ich ihn mit meinen ja, eigenen wunderbar. Händen. Wir haben nämlich mit dem Aufbau Aber nennen Sie mich Lust. nie wieder Phantom. Hör zu, das hier ist meine Kombüse, klar? Hier habe ich das Sagen und kein anderer. Du kannst mir dankbar sein, dass ich dich überhaupt hier umwirtschaften lasse. Hey, Here he comes, Morgan. to the main console. Just source around, sir. You can't hey. tolerate disorder. Good boy. There's too much rowdiness going on. We can do without it. Yeah, well, the cabin boy's getting too big for his britches. Go to your kitchen. When you're through there, report to the shift foreman. Es ist Zeit zur Wachablösung. Wer hat jetzt Dienst von euch? Meine Jungs sind dran, Captain. Dann haut endlich ab. In drei Minuten seid ihr dran. Na los, kommt schon. Die Messe ist kein Spielplatz. Natürlich nicht, Captain. Alles in Ordnung, Captain. They always give cabin boys a hard time. Don't you let them annoy you. You know, you really have a hard head. <laughs> Listen to the turkey. It laughs. Your attention, please. This is the captain speaking. All crew members presently off duty will report to assistant conductor hands and form a cleaning squad. <laughs> Alle Männer, die Freiwache haben. Hey, hey, auch nicht alles allein. Zu Reinigungsarbeit. Was gibt's denn heute? Ach, wieder denselben Drecksfraß. Ja, diese stinkenden Eier. I want a spotless ship at all times. Hey, Silver, what's this Space Scout trying to do? You can tell the Squire I didn't come on board to wash the laundry. If the captain says to clean up, you clean up. You understand, Mr. Hans? But cleaning up puts the crew in a bad mood. The crew has no moods, either good or bad. You do as he says. I think you should know, Mr. Silver. I'm not a turkey. I'm sorry. I thought you were. Hmm. 
He's funny, but he's a nice man. <laughs> he's no man. He's a robot. Isn't he a humanoid? Same difference. Well, he acts a little strange, but I thought our robots had been destroyed. They were. During the nuclear war. Why? If they were so perfect. Well, they were too perfect. They substituted man and everything. I mean, everything. Man was happy at first. He could relax. Then he became jealous. He destroyed them all. Millions of them. What about Joyce? Uh, some were saved by rich people. They became servants, slaves. You mean Joyce is just a machine? Half machine, half man. Don't ask me if he has a soul. I don't know. But I don't give a damn. I have a soul. You bet you have, Jimmy. Everything under control, Captain? Yes, but, uh... But? We're about to enter a zone of small meteorites, minute ones, but just to be on the safe side, I'm putting everybody on the alert. No rest periods. My God. Back to the old slave days. We'll probably have to clean the outside, too, after the meteorites. <laughs> probably. I wouldn't take it so lightly, Squire. Oh, you're still here. <laughs> the speed of these meteorites is what makes them so dangerous. Uh, Mr. Hands, insert the magnet protector. What's that? When they hit the side of the ship, they'll just shatter. Captain, since we're not running at immediate risk, aren't you being a bit heavy on the men? By keeping them at work, we avoid plotting and idle chatter. Which only lead to fights and drunken brawls. How's it possible you requisitioned all the alcohol? There was a lot of disorder this morning in the mess hall. Yes, but you laid it to Jimmy. You... Jimmy the cabin boy, you mean? Why have you got him washing floors on his hands and knees? That's part of a cabin boy's job. Oh, come, come, come now, Captain Smollett. He is just a boy. And I'd be grateful if you'd exempt him from some of these duties. He's to wash the floor today, and then we'll see. Why don't you start giving him some lessons in math and astrophysics? That will keep him busy. And you, too. <laughs> I don't like idle minds on board. Oh, I wasn't referring to you, uh, Squire. Oh, that's very kind of you, Captain. <laughs> Exterior magno screen protector inserted, Captain. Danke. times old Errol helped you out. Listen, Errol. We made a pact. Now you keep it. Oh, I'll pilot the ship. Where's he gone, old Silver? I surely do miss him. Beware, Jenny, of your old friends. He's always drunk. He must have a supply somewhere. Wonder where. Meantime. 
Mr. Aerosmith? Ah, so it's you, boy. Come. Sit down. <laughs> what do you want, eh? You want to learn how to pilot a spaceship? It might look easy, son, but it is not. <laughs> oh, you've been drinking. <laughs> yes. But our Mr. Smollett will have to, to turn a blind eye to me. I am the only one on board who can keep this old heap in flight condition. So we just had to put up with me. <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret. You shouldn't ever punch the control buttons. Just let your fingers brush over them lightly. Don't abuse of this machine. A conductor should be an artist. I knew a conductor once. Oh? Where'd you meet him? He stayed with us at the radio beacon in Floridia. Hmm, never been there. Salinunte, Temple's area. Billy Bones was his name. He's dead. Dead? He was waiting for someone called Arrow. But he never showed up. Jimmy. I... Mr. Aerosmith, I warned you. What are you doing here? You should be sleeping in the bunk room. No, I sleep in the kitchen with Silver. And go to sleep in the kitchen. Yes, sir. Good night, boy. Mm. Sorry. Sir, stick with him. We've got meteorites and he's crocked. Ease off of that stuff and the captain will have you banned from space once and for all. Now, I've seen some lushes in my time, but you take the cake, Errol. You better kick it. Thank you, Mr. Hands. And don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> don't worry, Hands. Have it your way. <laughs> Just so long as I don't have to keep sitting in for you, because you're looped. Good night, mate.
Gravity loss, 60%. Gravity loss, 60%. We were all concerned about Arrow's addiction to alcohol, although it was not uncommon among veteran spacemen. And yet we never fully realized to what degree, to what extent he would go to to procure the vile cause of his own undoing. Perhaps because he retained complete lucidity as concerned his work. Drunk or not, his technology remained beyond reproach. And this fact made us too easily forget that he needed our help. swarm of meteorites, sir. There's probably a short in one of the circuits, but I haven't managed to locate it yet. What's going on? Oh, man. Get Where's Arrows? I don't know. He was around here a little while ago. Go find him. Who closed this circuit? That's Aerosmith's department. He's in charge of maintenance. There's loss of compression or something shorting with our water tanks. What a crew! Uh. Uh. Hey, Captain, can't you feel this? Easy, squad. Uh -huh. Later. Give me a perspective, Mr. Hands. It's... It's coming up, sir. 
Emergency alert, Mr. Hands. He's killed. Keep playing the gold fighter. Where's our Mr. Aerosmith? They can't find him, sir. Mr. Hands, have you controlled all the hatches? Mr. Silver, get out! I've tried to tell him the vibrations... Will you go find Aerosmith, for God's sake! Yes, sir. Doctor! Squire! That's Jimmy. Oh, hurry! Jimmy! What is it, boy? Oh, Jimmy, what, what happened? What is it? What did you see? third decompression chamber is open. Don't move from here, Mr. Hands. I'm going to take a look. Aerosmith would have known how to fix this. to alarm stations. You three operate the arm and crane through the console and recuperate the poor devil's body. Sir, I have an idea. Mr. Why Hand, don't you tell me? isolate the protective shields and the circuits of our exterior tanks. What was your idea, Silver? It was a good idea. <coughs> Careful, Scott. Uh, I'm, I'm fine. I, I'm fine. metal detector, nor the other apparatus were able to detect those bottles. Zero Smith used glass bottles. I'd like to know where he got them. Huh. Not only that, he hid the damn liquor near the water tanks to avoid being spotted by the liquid detectors. I often wondered where he hid the stuff and never imagined him that mad. You think the damage would be serious, Captain? I'm afraid so. Unless I inactivate the converters, all the stored water will start bubbling. It could possibly explode the B and C sections. Compensate decompression section C. The lever. Watch your step, Captain. And you watch the gauges. There'll be a pressure increase as I'm drawn inside section C. Will do, sir. Do you hear me, Mr. Hands? Loud and clear, sir. Good. Close the hatch, Doctor. Patty, give me a hand. Stand by to close hatch. Easy. Slowly. Watch the levels, Close. Close. Dangerous? It goes on too long, the metal gets tired. It breaks. And then? Power 
supply. There's no alternative, Mr. Hands. It won't well! It won't well! Squire, it's all you all right? Yeah, yeah. Thank you, sir. Let's go. Let's go. indebted to you, Captain. Thank you. <laughs> 